My ice cream beauty bag and box both came in the mail today. As you can see, I am not a naked mole rat today. I do have makeup on, so I will not be doing a try on today, but I will be doing a try on later this week. So today we're just gonna unbox and assess what we have. Let's go ahead and start off with the bag. Now this thing is clunky, okay? It's got a lot of product in here. I'm very curious as to what we received because this is a big slot. The first thing that I'm pulling out looks like a, a kit, a kit of some sort. This is the Rachel Couture Eye Kit Trio. I have no idea how to say that. Y-E-U-X? Yokes? Yokes? I don't know what that says. This includes an eyebrow pencil, liquid liner, and a mascara. So we got three in one. And this is what the packaging is looking like. If you hear the noise in the background, that's baby girl. She doing her thing, minding her business that pays her, okay? So we gonna mind our business that pays us. The packaging is super cute. I don't know, it's giving me Japanese, Japanese vibe. So it comes like this. This is the pencil. Oh, the eyebrow pencil. Okay, very nice. Ooh, that's a little dark. That looks like black. Is this in the color black? <laughs> yeah, this is in the color black. I don't have black eyebrows. So this isn't gonna work for me. I might use it as a, like, it's like an eyeliner. We'll find a use for her. We, we don't waste product over here. We, we find uses for the things we get. The next item is the mascara, Vivid Volume in Black. And this is what it looks like. Very cute and like, it, it's like, it's a cheap material. It's a cheap material, but it looks boo. Oh, okay, and that's what it looks like. We'll obviously have to try her out and see if she does anything to our eyelashes. The final item is a liquid eyeliner. And this is what it looks like. It's one of those, you gotta dip into the pot. I don't really like those. I prefer felt tips where the product is constantly seeping out. She draws on pretty nicely, if I do say so myself. I don't see any little veins popping up, you know, like where it just kind of spreads out. So that's good. It's opaque, which is nice. I will wait for this to dry down a little bit and see if it moves. The next thing is... Uh, okay. We'll give it a try and see. But from previous experiences, the formula is not formulated. This is the Belle Pierre Cosmetics Eyeshadow Palette in Purple Bliss. And this is what she looks like. Looks like this is gonna be a itty bitty little thing. I see a bigger palette in there, so I don't think this is the palette palette for the box. Well, the bag. I don't think this is the palette palette. Okay, it's a little dusty. Let me see. Let's see what the shadows are looking like. If I can open it. Okay. It comes with one of these. One of these little things that you get with the, the play makeups. Put that right back in there because we don't use those. Okay, we've upgraded to brushes. This is what the colors look like. You can see the shoes. I mean, they're all shimmers. They shimmers weren't shimmering the last time I tried them. I will do some swatches and see. Absolutely not. It's a hell no for me. Let me show y'all. This is what it looks like on my skin tone. First of all, ashy. Okay, I look ashy. Second of all, where's the pigment? This one I had to go over multiple times and I had to really dig in there to get that color to show up. This also looks pretty ashy as well. It's a no for me. I might see if I can use this as like a highlight. It's a hell no for me. There's no matte shadows in here. It's just all shimmers. I never understood that. I never understood having a tire palette that's nothing but shimmers, unless it was like a highlighter palette. These little new toys be jamming. I'm actually very disappointed that they included that because it's just, it's not formulated. Where's the, where's the pigments? Okay, where is the pigments? And it's like, if it's gonna be a light flush of color, at least don't be ashy. And the final item is obviously a eyeshadow paint and eyeshadow palette. And this is the Like a Boss by Trend Beauty. Okay, she a little thicky thick. It's okay, it's okay. This is what the color story is looking like. Very, you know, neutral, nothing too crazy. I guess this kind of like, goes with the other palette. Like the other one was more boom in your face. This one is a lot more muted. I'm gonna do a few little swatches and then I'll be right back. This is what a few of the swatches are looking like. As you can see, she's pigmented, very neutral, nothing too crazy. It's a good palette to have for like everyday, day-to-day -day looks. I might not be reaching for her as often as I do my other palettes. And that was everything in my ice cream beauty bag. The Trend Beauty Like a Boss palette is $15. The Belle Pierre 1999 eyeshadow palette is $25. Who 
in a right mind is paying $25 for this. You paying $25 for this? I'm not. I could spend my $25 somewhere else and get way more pigments. So, mm, no. Hell no. The final, where's the other one? And the final thing, which was the Rachel Couture Kit Trio. This is $10. The bag is okay. Not my favorite bag, okay? Not my favorite. That one where I got like the Mora, the Mora palette. That was my favorite ice cream beauty bag so far. Moving on, moving on, moving on. I'm very excited to see what we have in here. Hopefully, hopefully it makes up for that terrible Belle Pierre, whatever that was, because it wasn't eyeshadow, because it wasn't shadow in the eyes. As always, comes nice and beautiful. Instead of pouring all the pack of peanuts out, I'm just gonna reach in and grab a product. The first thing that I'm pulling out is by Beauty For Certain, and this is a, it looks like a matte liquid lipstick in the color two. And this is what the packaging is looking like. I have a few items by Beauty For Certain, I think. Or maybe I have just one. Actually, I think I only have one. Well, now I have two. And this is so itty bitty and cute. Look at that. I love the packaging. Their branding is so cool. Like this neon, it's very young. It's giving a little teen, but us older folks can like it too. And this is a liquid lippy. Ooh, that's very pink. I don't know y'all. Ooh, that smells good. It smells sweet. Like it smells really sweet. This is what the doe foot is looking like. I used to have a pink lippy that was just like this. Look at that pink. It went on super smooth. It's it's not splotchy. It looks really good. Let's go ahead and rub, rub this really quick and see if it moved. All right, that did not move at all. That liquid eyeliner from the bag did not move. So happy to see it. Once this dries down, we'll see if this transfers. So far, so good. This is really nice. The next item that I'm pulling out is by Charmacy. Now Charmacy had that really, really beautiful dual and duochrome eyeliner. I love that. Absolutely stunning. This is what the packaging is looking like very iridescent and pretty. And this is in the color OVIP6. This is a duochrome liquid eyeshadow. I don't really reach for liquid eyeshadows. It's just not really my thing, but I will definitely give this a try and see if I like her. This is what the packaging is looking like. Very cute. I love this like clear moment going on up here. Got some safety plastic, which you already know your girl loves. Love a good safety plastic. The colors that I'm seeing in here are just so beautiful. Y'all see that? That is stunning. Ooh. It's a little streaky. I will say that. It is a little streaky. But y'all see that? That is so pretty. You can see so many beautiful colors in here. On the screen, you're mostly seeing the purple. But in person, I'm seeing gold and I'm seeing pink and I'm seeing the purple. But that is very pretty. Only thing is, it's a bit streaky. I'm going to let this dry down and see if it'll blend out. You know, we'll see if we can blend it out and get rid of some of those streaks. Very pretty. And even from here, it looks green. So yeah, you get so many different colors in here. I wish I could show you all the colors that I'm seeing. And from here, it looks like it's blue. Like I got some blue in there. I like this. This is nice. The next item that I'm pulling out is the Luscious Lip Stain by Dose or Duce. Not quite sure, but this is what the packaging is looking like. I have a like a gel black eyeliner from Dose or Duce, and it's pretty nice. It's pretty, actually I have two of them because they came in those glossy boxes where they sent me the same box twice. Oh, that's so cute. Look at that on the inside. Wait, luscious lip stain, clear gloss. How exactly is it supposed to stain my lips if it's clear? Make that make sense. It says lip stain, but then it's a clear gloss. So <laughs> I'm unsure what that's supposed to mean. But this is what the packaging is looking like. Very cute. I actually really like this packaging. I think it's so nice. And I mean, it's just a clear gloss. We'll see. We'll see if it's sticky. Oh yeah, it's sticky. I can feel it. <laughs> I can feel it. It's just a little lip gloss. It doesn't have a scent to it. I mean, there's not really much I can say about this. It's just clear gloss, which I mean, it's nice to have. I'll probably pop this in my purse and just, you know, use it on the go. If I don't have anything else on my lips, I can use something like this to just kind of give my lips some moisture. The next item that I'm seeing is by Chantico Beauty. And this is what the packaging is looking like. Let's see what this is. Ooh. 
Ooh, okay. Is this supposed to be a mirror? Maybe you gotta take off the plastic. I don't know. This is, wait, hold up. What it looked like on camera is completely different from what it looked like in person. This is just like a little eyeshadow duo. Very pretty. Now let's see what these colors are looking like though. Ooh, very soft. What? That is so freaking pretty. I'm running out of room, bruh. That is gorgeous. Let me see what this other one is looking like. Man, these are so pretty. That has unicorn written all freaking over it. Look at those. Belle Pierre could never, could absolutely never. That is giving unicorn mermaid vibes. Hold up, put a little bit on there. Ooh. Oh yes, it's so pretty. That is absolutely stunning and it's so soft. I could sit there rubbing my fingers over this like literally all day. Ooh, yes. Y'all see that? That is so pretty. We gonna be playing in this one a lot. The box is popping. I'm sorry, but if you were wondering the box or the bag, the box is popping this month. Oh my God. Like, I don't even know what else to say. And the final thing in here, I believe, unless there's something else hiding under these packet peanuts. Okay, no, this is the last thing. The final item in here is nice and bubble wrap. And this is the Ofra Mini Mix Palettes. And this is what it looks like. Ofra is a pretty good brand. I mean, they have some really nice products. I'm not gonna lie. And this is what the palette is looking like. It looks like you have a bronzer, a blush, and then four highlights as well as an eyeshadow palette. And I'm wondering how it's gonna look if you were to swirl that highlight and then put it on. That might be very interesting. And I will say this, Ofra's products are formulated, okay? They show up, but we are gonna do some swatches, okay? We're gonna do some swatches and see what these is working with. So I will be right back. I almost forgot, I was about to go wash my hands, but I need to check this, see if this is transfer proof. Now I'm pressing down really hard, not really getting anything off. It's a little sticky, let me see. Does it move? Oh, it doesn't move. I, I was able to buff out a little bit of the streakiness, but not all of it. Like you can still see the streaks. The liquid eyeliner, this might be one of those things where you gotta do a couple different layers and maybe put something underneath it so that you don't get like a streaky mess going on with your eyelid. This liquid lip, she don't move, okay? She don't move and she does not transfer. So that is really, really nice. But I'm gonna go wash up and then we're gonna do some swatches. Here are some of the swatches. I started off with that blush and then kind of worked my way around the palette. This final shade is that pink highlighter that's in the center. Bella Pierre could never. The only shade that really didn't show up was this like kind of light transition-y shade. But other than that, everything shows up so freaking beautifully. I am super excited for this aqua. I think that's gonna look so pretty alongside that eyeliner that we got from Juvia's Place. I think those are gonna go so beautifully together. These are some of the swatches, very, very nice. And that was everything in my ice cream beauty box for April. The box is bussin', okay? We got so many really good products in there and I am super excited for the try-on. The try-on's gonna come a little later. I'm probably gonna have to break it into two separate try-ons just because there was just a lot of eyeshadow products. So I do wanna break those up into different videos and give them all a try. If you like this content, you already know what to do. Like, share, comment, and definitely subscribe so that you can become a Fae Bay. And I will see y'all with the next one. Deuces. Thank you.